Welcome to Situational Awareness, a podcast brought to you by Militarny Com. I'm your host Valentina Kuzak, joining you today from Defense Tech Valley 2025 in Lviv. And today I'll talk to Maxim Cherkis. He's a COO of Stark Defense, a new company with already impressive track record of AI innovation and also experience of cooperation with quantum systems. Hi, Maxim. Welcome to the show. So nice to have you here. Hello. Thank you for inviting me here. So tell us uh, a bit more about Start Defense Company, quite a new one that is presented today at the Defense Tech Valley 2025. Yeah, so Stark Defense is an international company based in uh, Munich, Germany, uh, developing clothing munition. Uh, now we announce also not only flying drones, but also some naval drones. So basically this is uh, swimming uh, drones. In Ukraine we have quite big footprint responsible for um, testing, providing feedback to their engineers and like R&D purposes. Great. You mentioned the naval drones that you also... Yeah. But is it just the concept you haven't... Uh, it's not a concept. This project is about on TRL-5. So we have a prototype drone swimming on the sea. I cannot disclose a lot of technical features about it. I cannot tell is it effective. Uh, it's designed for Europe. Ukrainian part didn't have any part on its development. So I don't, I cannot uh, speak more, uh, more about technical specification. Okay, great. You also mentioned that you are producing drones and then you said they are arriving to Ukraine, something yes. like that. So do you have a production facilities here in Ukraine or are producing not, elsewhere? Not yet. Uh, in Ukraine we, are, we have R&D center, so we can it's not a, like a produce, it's more about assembling. So when we receive some units from uh, Germany and we have some test flights and the drones are broken, uh, we have expertise to fully d disassemble drone and fully assemble it. So basically... So kind of basic maintenance, right? Uh, yeah, but basic maintenance. So imagine that you have a car and you crash it. And to repair it, you need to fully disassemble. So like a fully disassembled car, you change uh, the external part and assemble new car. But with the details made in Germany? Yes, yes. Uh, manufacturer is in Germany, in uh, near Munich. Uh, but we see a huge demand in Ukraine and in Europe, and we fully understand that German manufacturer will not fulfill this demand. So we're thinking um, quite um, with sky high uh, intensive, we think about opening in Ukraine manufacturer. We study this, uh, we are looking for suppliers, uh, subcontractors, and thinking how to establish it as fast as possible. You mentioned a little bit about your cooperation with Very One. So you've been testing your pro products uh, and you're participating in conferences like this. So uh, how was your experience with Very One? And what you can say to other your competitors, but also partners internationally on how to connect with Very One? Is it worth it? And maybe there are some shortcuts and some room to improve for Very One. Brave One for me uh, is like a great platform that can connect uh, startups among each other to find some partners and also a great platform to find some investments in startups. For foreign companies, I cannot tell uh, how Brave, if Brave One is um, actively helping because we have footprint here in Ukraine, we have own team responsible for testing, so we do not use Brave One as a testing platform. Uh, for us, Brave One is more about like networking connection with other team, getting some experience, uh, getting, getting contacts with people. yeah, getting contact with militaries because usually Brave One uh, hold events on test fields uh, and they attract militaries. So it's very good uh, opportunity to speak with end users to show them uh, product and uh, get the feedback uh, without going uh, into some um, emergency areas on battle line. But are you doing that as well? Yeah, are you going that we are to also various? doing, but with specific units uh, after uh, training and um, mission planning, we go to battlefield, yes. And the next question that I have to ask, you have the same founder as uh, the quantum system has, right? So what's your partnership, what's your relations to quantum systems? Quantum founder is our, one of our co-founders, one of the most, of, uh, of many. Uh -huh. 
uh, with Quantum we have uh, cooperation regarding concept of rocky strike. So this concept declare that it should be some reconnaissance drone who can give us target and then we can hit this target. So basically uh, this um, feature give us a vector mm -hmm. who, who is widely using in Ukraine. Uh, we have the same radio link, so this gives us possibility to use uh, Vector as a relay uh, to have some uh, not very easy operations. Then you have uh, high intensity, uh, high intensive uh, electronic warfare, and you need to fly on some lower altitudes below the horizon, radio horizon. Mm -hmm. And using uh, Vector will help us to do these missions. Also, using uh, such such type of uh, concept give possibility to fly f far away from uh, battle line so like more deeply in the enemy line can you tell us a bit more because we forgot about it at the very beginning about this ai based homecoming technology which is unique do you have any kind of competitors in that field or is it something that's solely yours it's excellent question because, for example, in Ukraine we have a lot of uh, teams developing AI uh, tracking and guidance. Yeah. But one of the main uh, disadvantages of these companies is that they have only software solution and they need to integrate with hardware. Mm -hmm. So they need any carrier, any uh, strike drones to integrate their software. Uh, but hardware companies, they, like, they, they want to have such solution in-house. Uh, that's why it's very hard. Uh, so th this is one of the problems for Ukrainian uh, startups who develop AI solution. Stark we also as company developing loiter munition. It's like one of the obligation of the company to have everything in house. So that's why we start to develop uh, in-house solution for AI uh, targeting and uh, reconnaissance and uh, guidance system. Uh, is it unique? Maybe, uh, but it works with our drones. So uh, we have all the features uh, w w which are presented on the market. So basically we can uh, track target, we can identify target and we can uh, use uh, terminal guidance at their last mile. So uh, this is a must have feature because of uh, electronic warfare. Uh, which is widely used uh, with Russians, like a Kupel uh, EV, uh, and uh, it's very like pity. Then you find target, you start to fly in the target, but on the last uh, miles you lose connection, and you lose the, the the hit. That's why this is one of the must-have features, and we have it. So basically, this provides us possibility, even if drone, when it starts to go in low altitudes and it goes to the radio horizon, below the uh, radio horizon, we will not miss because we have AI with object detection. And even if we um, like point some, some target on very, very uh, high distance, like more than one kilometer, basically on this uh, distance, the target's like several pixels. Mm -hmm. But then coming closer, AI system can detect that this is an object what we, what we pointed, and it detects and lock it. And this is the uh, increased uh, reliability of system. So basically you are building a company, despite its new one, uh, that combines this software part with a hardware part, and this is like basically the re recipe of your uniqueness for Ukrainian market, kind of, right? Not only for Ukrainian market, basically for also for European market. Uh, yes, we are trying to build the whole ready system. It's very important for us as a company to give ready product uh, for the end user. Uh, and uh, one of our philosophy is to make product like uh, who can operate with one button click. So fully autonomous because it also will uh, increase effectiveness, not depending on um, experience of operators. And the last question, Maxim, what would be your advice to foreign companies if they want to cooperate or test in Ukraine? The main advice is come to Ukraine, open here footprint, so invest in the Ukrainian uh, entity, invest in Ukrainian people and Ukrainian engineers will help with all testing, with all feedback, uh, and this will speed up very fast uh, 
all their testing R&D purposes and this will benefit uh, much their European or American company. Great advice from Maxim and to our listeners, listen to Maxim's advice and also subscribe to our channel, like and comment for each and see you in the next episode of Situational Awareness Podcast.